Let me show you a quick way how to find the crossfade feature inside of Apple Music, how to turn it on, and then adjust the length to get the perfect transition. Before we begin, you need to make sure that you're updated to the latest iOS release. If you need help, I've done videos in the past on how to update your iOS, so you can check back with those and do this first. But Crossfade was released in iOS 17, so make sure you're at least there. Once you're updated, let's go ahead and take a look at how to turn Crossfade on. Start by finding and then opening the Settings app on your iPhone's home screen. Next, once you're inside of here, scroll down until you see Music here near the center of the screen. Choose this. Inside of the music settings, scroll down until you see the audio section here, and at the bottom, you'll see the crossfade option. To turn this on, just make sure that this slider is enabled. Once you turn crossfade on, you'll then get a slider where you can adjust the crossfade length while you're listening to music. You can play around with this time here if you want, or you could just leave it to the default. A good length for me personally is between five or six seconds. That's plenty of time to get from one song to the next without it happening too quickly or taking too long. If you're using your phone at a party to play music, you can try setting this to 10 to 12 seconds. This allows the tracks to crossfade smoothly, especially if one of the songs has a longer drawn out end or a build up in the beginning. Again, just experiment with these times to see which one that you like best. Now you can close settings and then head back into your music app and start playing your music. With Crossfade turned on, your songs are automatically going to fade into each other. And that's how you turn on Crossfade on Apple Music. Thanks for watching.